So, you want to make a UKG tune that sounds like this. And before we get into it quickly, I'll be releasing a free UKG kit with some sounds in it that can help you out. But I'll also be releasing a paid UKG kit that will cost £5, a very cheap price. It will literally have everything from this project in it. It'll have the serum presets for the melody and the bass. It'll have the mixer presets. And it'll have all like, the little drum loops that I use and my drum sounds. And uh, even the vocal chops as well I'll leave in because they can help with your own tunes as well. So... Yeah, make sure if you want that uh, to DM me on Instagram at fmw.uk and we can literally just PayPal me £5 and I'll uh, send you a link for the kit over Instagram. And uh, yeah, uh, back to the video. So, if you hear clicking as well, by the way, I'm not on my usual setup, so you might hear clicks on my laptop, but just try to ignore that as best as you can. Breaking down the, the melody, the melody is really simple. It's just some chords that go like this with the preset you can get in the pay pack. See, very simple. The, um, the design itself is really simple. And yeah, so once you've got a melody going like that, you wanna focus on some drums. And I use drum loops, um, I use my own drums with the drum loops, of course, but they're just for balance purposes, makes the flow quicker, and they're there to be used. Like, I don't understand why there's a, um, a thing about using drum loops. Like, if it's just for bounces, not just, like, literally just a single loop, you're just using it for extra bounce, there shouldn't be a problem with it at all, I don't think. Um, getting into the drum pattern that I made myself, this is very simple. It's just hat and snare and some perks, I think. Yeah, and... One thing that's key, a key and very important when making garage is the swing knob on the channel rack. So if you got to here, turn it around 35, I wouldn't go any more than 50 because then it starts to sound a bit off. But with the swing, you get like, I'll show you without. It sounds very like, just quite simple on it, but you throw this on there. You can't really tell just by like, like that. But once everything else is playing that isn't swung, like the drum loops isn't aren't swung and the melody and the vocals aren't swung, so it will like just slightly be offbeat to make a, a better bounce for your tune. Next, obviously, vocals, that's that's up to you. I found this vocal on uh, I can't tell if it's Splice or another website, but this vocal's quite nice. Part of me is looking for a place to hide. But all the wanna fight somewhere deep inside. So a very simple vocal. Then work on the build up. I literally took the sub bass from the main bass, which I'll get to in a second, and threw it into the build up, which will um, create some more like energy on the build up itself. Uh, use another little drum loop here just to chop it up to make a nice bounce pattern while building up. And then we'll let me Again, you can get all these sounds in the in the five pound kit. So make sure if you would like that to message me on Instagram. Um, then I just chopped up a bit more. I just keep ending the smile on because I'll explain why and what this does in a minute. So yeah, it just creates like a nice little snare bounce rolling into the drop. Um, so end the smile, what is it? What does it do? It literally basically is a combination of reverb, delay and high and low, low pass filters. Um, and it, it just does it all in one single... Um, VST, so it just makes life a lot easier. You've got different, like, uh, what's it called? Different, uh, like, intensities. I just stick to the medium ones, unless you want to go for a really heavy drop, then obviously go for the high ones. So, yeah, that's the build up and drums um, and the melody. So yeah, that's the build up. Getting onto the bass, the fun part, the bit you're probably all here for, let's be honest. Um, let me just put this on. I'll just, for now, extend. Uh, 
extend that so it's full. Right, so the base. Very simple pattern, very simple uh, bounce to it. Uh, it's my rolling synth. It's, it's a bit inspired by Simon Verge, of course. Um, this will definitely be in the five pound kit, the, the preset and the mix for it that I used. Um, so yeah, like it, it's hard to explain what you need to do to create a bouncy bass. Like the gaps are important. Using off beat notes. So like if I quickly just zoom in here, you'll see that like. It's not just one one on one bar. It's got these little ones here to create an extra bounce using like little poppy high notes like I've done here. So it goes like. That's really important as well, just to like create variations and whatnot in the project itself. And to keep the listeners entertained, because that's kind of all you really want to do is just keep the uh, the listeners entertained. That's, that's, all, that's all what music is really. So yeah. Um, so the drop, let's see what the drop sounds like all together once again. So what I've done here, I'll show you, I'll show, I'm showing you the kicks quickly actually. So the kicks are really simple, four on the floor, standard, but I've got another kick sample that kind of just creates a little bounce at the end of every, I think it's every four, isn't it? Yeah, every four. See what I mean? Just creates like a nice little bounce, and that is obviously uh, side chain. Or the kick is a side chain. The the sub bass and the synth are side chain to this kick, which are these little automations here. Which basically all you want to do to make this is, if I just select this real quick, I'll delete the sub bass one for now. Find the sub bass, which I'm pretty sure is this one. This one with the mono, you literally want to go here, um, right click on the audio, like uh, audio slider, click that, create automation clip, that will bring this into your selected area, bring it down here, and then where the kick plays, you see it's just this one little bit here, just right click that, bring that down, curve it a little bit, so it's a pretty much a, uh, just completely not playing for the kicks bit. Copy the value at the end and then repaste it at this bit here, so it's all one volume level. And then, yeah, then you get this nice side chain when you play this. Oh, well, one bit that doesn't have actual anything playing. You see it, it like dips down. That's very important, it creates bounce, creates a good mix as well. So, yeah, keep that in mind when making a UKG. Uh, next onto the vocal chops, I've unfortunately rendered it out as a pattern, so I can't show you how I moved it all together. But basically, I literally just find a nice bit of the vocal, find a bit here. Oh, I'll just keep end the smart on, keep forgetting about that. Um, yeah, so look. So basically, what you kind of just want to always, if you're going to do like little just stabby ones like these ones here, the best place to put them is if I just crop it out quick, uh, literally on the offbeat. So it would be like kick here offbeat kick here offbeat so it's like kick hit kick hit that creates that bounce um i don't know if i actually have uh another vocal that does that later on in the tune i thought i did no i don't unfortunately um so yeah so, so it's like kick vocal or kick perk or kick like that's what you want to keep in mind just on the offbeats and the the jumpy bits of garage is literally just all offbeats so yeah just keep that oh i do have it sorry it's here <laughs> I did. So here you go. So if I play that with the kick, see so it creates a bounce and with the bass in as well. And then all together. Obviously, this little like pattern bit where it's like, uh, 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 that is just fine. Good bits to vocal and making basically a, a melody out of it. So yeah, keep that in mind, like rhythms and stuff like that in your. Um, while making your tunes, essentially. It's all about rhythm, it's all about bounce, all about uh, variation. That's that's very key. Can you wake me, wake me? Obviously, you see I have this scratch here that also plays, I think, every eight. Uh, or is it just on the drop? Oh, no, it's just every eight, but I'm not putting it up to this, into the B section yet. Basically, what this does is literally, it just creates like a little gap and then it hits harder, so it's like... No. 
So again, all about bounce, all about variation. That just creates another little bit of bounce, which makes the next bit of the bass hit harder. And the next bit of the bass happens to be the bit where it's up an octave. So it's also another variation, which makes another um, uh, bounce effect, basically. Because it's just it's up and down, gets your body moving up and down, goes off in raves. This is literally all you want, really. So yeah. <laughs> So yeah, that's pretty much it really. I mean, the mixing that, mix downs and stuff like that, it's all gain stage and that's what I do. I don't have anything, I do have a limiter on this one just for what I'm recording, sorry, but I normally don't have a limiter. Uh, I think the hats, literally just a bit of reverb, kick's got a step, oh no, it doesn't, it has nothing on the kick. Uh, it's really, really simple. It literally, sometimes you don't even need to mix half it because I do a lot of the audio changes on here. On the, see here, it's like all different like audios. So a lot of mixing I'll do it is on here. So yeah, that's about it really. I don't think there's much else I could really show you. I've got other projects that are different to this one that I can break down if you want more, let me know. Um, again, if you're interested in that five pound kit, let me know on Instagram. Um, literally just very simple transaction. You pay pound me five pound. I'll send you the link to the kit once I hit the money again comes to me. Uh, if you want the free one, the link is in the description. And yeah, any questions, leave a comment, follow my Instagram up. Um, check out the SoundCloud. I've just released this tune on SoundCloud now. So if you like Garage and that, make sure to check it out. And yeah, and the reason I'm using Bandicam for you people that have noticed it is because my laptop is old and I'm not on my usual setup. So leave it out, mate. Leave it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, standard stuff, you know how the drill goes. And yeah, stay safe, people.